guys, so today, well, not, not the day you're watching this, the day I'm filming it, is my birthday, and I am 25. There's something so off-putting about that statement, let me just say. I know I don't look 25, I look 16, and that's being generous. When I was in, Ve I was in Vegas last week, I got carded, I can't even tell you how many times. <laughs> so many times and I got told that I look like a baby three times yeah you know I'll be grateful for it one day I am very aware of that but right now when I get carded for trying to see an R-rated movie it's just it's just um, um. anyway because it's my birthday I figured I would film a video that I know you love I love so it's a win-win all around as I said I was in Vegas last week, did a little bit of shopping, and then I also have a Shein order as well, and then a couple beauty products that I want to show you guys. So without further ado, let's start the haul. So first up, I have this top that I'm wearing right now. I went to Forever 21, and I actually had like less than an hour to shop through the whole mall. Um, it was our last day there, and I hadn't had a chance to go to the mall yet, so my dad drove me there, and he's like, we have to go to the airport in an hour, so just go crazy, do whatever you need to do. I didn't try anything on, um, so I grabbed this top because I just really love the way it looked and it fits me perfectly. I'll sh you guys will see it better in the try-on clip, but I love it. It's got the racer cut. It's gray and navy. It might look black on camera. I'm not really sure, but I love this thing. It's great. The other thing I got, unfortunately, is actually a little bit big. So it's a bodysuit. I only have a couple bodysuits and I very rarely wear them, but I wanted to get this one just because I really liked the look of it because it's like a dark tie-dye, so it's kind of like a <laughs> olive green, shall we say, and I guess like a navy or black kind of dye as well. And it's ribbed and it's really soft and I thought it would fit me. It's a little bit long though. I guess maybe I have a shorter torso, I'm not really sure, um, but I did get this in a small and it was $14.90. This top is also a small and I want to say it was like $8.90 or something really really inexpensive so oh no Lastly from Forever 21 I was in the checkout aisle or checkout lane and it was a really long line and they got me with these It was like pre Coachella so a lot of festival type things were there This happened yep yep mm. it, Yes it did Honestly, I wanted to get these because if I do like a get ready with me or a tutorial, I can wear this to pull my hair back. But after actually trying this on, it's, it's not very comfortable, but look at, they're kind of cute. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't, you know, it's that lane with all the random things and it just, like, they get you there, you know? This is why I shop online. No, that's even worse. What am I saying? Okay. I went to PacSun as well, and I got two tops. They were buy one get one free, which is really awesome. However, the other one is dirty, and it's not here. So I will insert a picture of it. A ton of people took screenshots of it on Snapchat when I snapped my outfit of the day. Um, I really like it. They're both from the um, Me to We Basics line, I think it is, or Essentials, something like that. The other tank that I got is this light, dusty pink one. It is ribbed. It's very thin. This is the perfect kind of tank to layer over a bralette, especially the halter ones that I really like. Um, just really, really comfortable, very soft. This is a size medium. The other one I've got, I believe, was also a size medium. I typically like for my tank tops to um, be a bit oversized, usually to show off the bralette. So there is that. I also went to Urban Outfitters and just picked up a couple more of the halter bralettes while they are um, still on sale. I don't know if that is going to be a permanent price change. I'm not entirely sure because it's been, I think, it's been quite a while. So I did get one of the cream ones. These are their halter um, lace bralettes if you haven't tried these or seen these in my haul before. So here's the cream. And I also got the gray. So it looks like that. I really, really love these. They're my favorite bralettes. I love halter bralettes um, in particular. And these ones are very comfortable. Um, you really don't feel them, to be honest. So I really like these and highly recommend them. Lastly for Vegas purchases is this <laughs> flannel. Because you all know I needed another one. I, you know, I was clearly lacking flannel in my collection. In case you're new here, that was sarcasm because I have, I have more than enough. It's a problem. But this is a really, really nice one. So this is from Quicksilver. It was, we were in the outlets actually. And so this was marked down from 70, which first of all, this is, already has like that distressed worn look to it. Whoever would pay $70 for this, 
So there are price tags at $50 and I was like, eh, I don't want it. My dad went into the store and he was like, he was like, everything on those round racks is an additional 70% off. And I was like, but it didn't say that on the flannel rack. And he's like, well, just ask. It was an additional 70% off. So I got this for $16 and it's so soft and it's so just, oh, I love it. it. I think it's my new favorite flannel. I love it. Oh, it is a men's flannel, Quicksilver, not Roxy. Okay, before I get into the Shein things, I did pick up only a few things from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. The first thing I got is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, which is very, very popular here on YouTube. I have tried it a few times. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it yet. I'm not blown away, definitely. Um, so it looks like this. It comes in a really beautiful like frosted glass bottle and it has a pump applicator if you haven't seen this before. I just, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I've, I had like a country accent there for a second. I've been having a lot of problems with my skin and I think part of it was the fact that I went to Vegas but even before that I was having some issues with it. I don't know. I think there's some product that I'm using that is breaking me out but I cannot figure out what it is because I've been trying a lot of new stuff which is not very good but I usually don't have problems with um, products breaking me out which is why it's throwing me off and I really don't know what it is so until I figure that out I will not try to guess <laughs> but I don't know if it's that because I have used it a few times I just, I, I don't know yet, we'll see. And then I also got two of the Buxom Full On Lip Creams. These were half off um, during the sale, so I got the shade Dolly, which I did take with me to Vegas, and I love this thing. Uh, I wore it, I think, every day when I was there, and it's just the perfect kind of nude, um, I guess mauve type pink for over like any kind of lip liner or any nude or any um, mauve pink shade that you want to work with. These glosses do have that minty tingling. I don't know if I would say that they actually do any plumping, but they do make your lips look very full, so I like that. I've said before I'm not really a gloss girl, but I did really enjoy these. And the other one that I got is the oh so popular White Russian. I have not even tried this one yet just because I don't really know how to work with this kind of color. So even you can see in the bottle, it's very light. And I don't really do light nude lips. I always go a little bit darker. So I, I bought this because everybody loves it. I just don't know how to wear it because it's like a milky pink and I'm a little bit scared. So it looks, oh, I don't know if you guys can see that swatch there, but it's definitely a lot lighter than Dolly. So we'll see. Before I forget what I'm wearing today, this is Kat Von D's bow and arrow. This was supposed to be in my last favorites video, but I lost it. So, but I found it, so we're good. Uh, it'll be in the next one. Okay, so now let's get into the Shein stuff. I did try on everything yesterday except for two things. I did get two um, swimsuits that I did not try on yet, but everything else I feel like I can speak a bit about as far as sizing and quality and stuff like that goes. So let's start. First up is this set, one of my favorite things that I got this time around. So it's perfect for spring and summer. Um, so it looks like this. The top is off the shoulder and it has that elastic band and it's cropped. So it does have elastic kind of around the waist as well. And then here are the matching shorts, which are really, really cute. I always love little details like tassels on the ties or even these little like the pom-pom trim kind of thing going on here. Any little extra detail I think makes pieces look a little bit more high quality, a little bit more put together, a little bit more finished. Um, so I really, really like this set. So it looks like that. I'm painting an accurate picture for you, I know. Next is this pair of shorts that I really love as well. Um, you may have noticed that recently I've been really into tie-dye. Actually, for a long time I feel like I've been into tie-dye. These shorts are the typical, I feel like these started to be popular from Brandy Melville. Um, they do have the ruffly hem and they come a little bit higher up on the sides. What I like more about these than those is that these are longer. I think you guys could probably tell. A lot of other brands make them so short that like any kind of movement, even walking, could expose something and it's just not good. But these are a decent length, not too long though, so I really, really like these. Next up is probably my favorite top. This is the first thing that I knew I had to have. Um, it's this... I don't even know how to describe it, but you guys can see already. So it has this threading, or I guess it's made of this threading, that shifts from like a blue to a purple. I don't really know if I should call it duochrome, but it's, it's 
cool, I'll just say that. I did get, I think a medium, but I wish I had even gone bigger, um, just because I wish it fit even longer and larger than it already does, but oh, this is screwing up the lighting, wow. Yeah, this is super awesome, totally recommend it. Next I have this piece, it's one of those shorts dress things, and I, I, I saw a term on a website somewhere, and I can't remember what they called it, but basically it's like a romper that has uh, like an overlay. Oh man, I don't remember what they called them, but this is one of those, so there are the shorts, and then it has like a long um, open skirt around it, and then the top of this has this really beautiful embroidery, and I just, it's so pretty. Unfortunately, this does not fit me perfectly. These sides of the top, whoo, the sides of the top do come out a little bit, um, and then they kind of cut a, a little bit short here, so if I were to wear this, I would have to fashion tape it for sure, just because it is a little bit awkward. You guys will see in the try-on, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to make this one work, but it is a beautiful piece. I just kind of wish the um, measurements were a little bit different. Next is a jumpsuit that I thought <laughs> would be good, and it's just, it doesn't, it's good quality, I'll give it that, but I wish I had got the blue one, because the blue one was the one that had like all the good reviews, um, but I decided to go with this sort of um, rusty color. It's not as bright as it's going to show up on camera, it is more of a muted kind of rust, um, almost with like a hint of coral going on, but it's this jumpsuit, so it has a lace up top, and you can wear it like off the shoulder because it is wide enough. It is long sleeved, and then it does have a tie at the waist or the hips depending on how this hits you and then it does have pockets as well and it goes all the way down to like a banded bottom here i feel like if you're taller this could work but on me it kind of looks like pajamas like a onesie situation like a almost trendy onesie that didn't quite hit the mark. Yeah, it doesn't really work for me, but again, it's good quality, and I really do think on someone taller in a different... Anyone gonna get that? No? Cool! Okay, that alarm literally went on for like three minutes, and that screws up my schedule because I need to leave for work in like five. So, we're gonna try to speed this up. I apologize. Someone's... Dumbass car is ruining my birthday plans. I'm trying to be <laughs> calm and zen. It's your birthday, Katie. Relax. It's fine. Everything is fine. Next up, we have this top. I did jump along. Jump along. Continue on that. Continue on that train. What am I saying? What am I saying? I did get another of the rose embroidery tops. Um, this one is a t-shirt that does have cut out shoulders here, so you can actually wear it completely off the shoulder that way, or you can wear this up on the shoulders and just have a cool kind of cut out there. This is really soft, it fits me perfectly, um, don't really have much more to say about it, but I love this. Next up, another tie-dye thing here is this top, oh, that is inside out, should have fixed this earlier. So it is off the shoulder, I'm really into off the shoulder stuff apparently, and it does have these very flowy, um, almost bell sleeves, but they're actually a little bit asymmetrical, which I like. Again, very soft material, I really like this. It's a little bit cropped, almost to kind of a weird length, because it's wide, stop it. Definitely still wearable um, with some like distressed shorts or something. I think this will be really perfect for summer. Next, another <laughs> off the shoulder piece I didn't realize how many I got actually is this dress that I've had my eye on for a while. They've had various versions of this. Um, they have a longer one. I think that they also have one of those like shorts dress romper things as well. But I got the navy one, so again, it's off the shoulder, but it does have these sleeves, little like sleeve-lit things almost here, and then it's just like a short dress. Again, something that's perfect for summer, a little bit sheer though, so you're definitely going to have to wear some shorts with this one. Or not. <laughs> Do what you want. Another rose embroidery top. I love this one. This is one of the um, types of halters that you tie that's backless. So here is the cut up here. This one's actually a little bit bigger than I expected, and I think I might have got a small that's a lie, I got a medium, probably could have gone with a small. This is actually like a faux suede material, which I like, and then it ties around the back. And this is actually a bit bigger, as I mentioned, so I do um, twist it all the way around the back and tie it actually in the front. You could tie it in the back still, or you could even, depending on how small you are, you could wrap it around and then tie it again in the back. Just 
can play around with it. I did get two more hoodies. This is like a dusty mauve, like a light mauve maybe. It is a little bit cropped. I like it. It is fleece lined. Not a whole lot to say about this. I would definitely size up. I probably would have sized up even more. I'm, I'm guessing this is a medium. There's no tag. I, I probably got a medium, but I would go even bigger if I could have. I mentioned in my other haul when I got this in the rusty color, which was also in my favorites video, um, that I was going to get it in green as well, my fave, and I did. It fits exactly the same way. It's this thin one. It's not lined. It's not like a sweatshirt. It's more of like a um, t-shirt, sweatshirt hybrid as I tried to describe it last time. Perfect for layering and I just I love it. Definitely recommend these. I have two now and I love them both. Next I have these shorts that I've showed on Instagram. They look like this. These are very trendy right now I guess. What size did I get? Because these are a little bit big. So I did get a medium. I probably would have got a small if I had known sizing wise. Um, I would have just stayed true to size. I typically go bigger. Um, I think bigger is easier just to work with than something that's too small, right? So I do fold these over to make them fit a little bit better. They are cute, they have pockets, and they are very good quality. They are um, lined as well. Next we have these like activewear leggings that I really, really wanted to love, but they're just too long, which is so annoying. But what I got these for is the fact that they have this pocket here, so you can put like your phone or whatever you want in it. I just think it's cool. It's like a random meshy pocket on the leg, but it, it does hold my phone like perfectly. But they're just too long, and you can't really do active leggings that are too long, because then they bunch at the ankle. It's just it's not cute, and so that's why I just wish these fit though, because they are, they fit everywhere else. They're just too long. Next is definitely one of my favorite pieces. This is this acid wash distressed denim jacket. It's oversized, I would say it's almost boyfriend fit, um, and it has this distressing kind of all over the place. I know this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but talk about grungy and 90s, um, this. This embodies that totally. I also got this pair of shorts that fit me pretty well. Um, they have these little flower appliques. I guess these, I guess these are daisies. Are these daisies? I don't know. I'm not a florist. But I thought these would be a little bit different. I have so many pairs of plain shorts. That I kind of wanted to get something springy, and maybe I'll do it in a lookbook or something. Um, but yeah, so these fit really well. I did have to cut a little bit into the hole, by the way. Some people have asked about that. I guess a lot of times you do have to cut your own hole for the uh, like little snappy button thing here. As far as the two bathing suits go, this one I know is just not going to fit. So I got a medium and I can tell just based on looking at it that it's just going to be too big. So this strap here that goes under the bust is just too big, but I really liked the look of it on the site which is sad. However, I haven't tried the bottoms on, but I think these might fit. They are <laughs> quite cheeky, but you could wear these to like lay out and tan or whatever, so there's that. The other suit that I got, I have not tried this one on yet, but it had a lot of good reviews on the site, so I figured I would check it out. It looks like this. It's kind of crazy. It's got a lot going on, but I think it's just really, really fun. Um, I'm a little bit worried that it might be too long for my torso, but it, I hope not. I think it's really cool, and then it's strappy as well, so the back is open, and then you just kind of like go crazy with these ties, but... Yeah, I hope this fits. Two more things. I have this, unfortunately, very, very cheap, kind of like polyester. I thought it was going to be a blanket, like a beach blanket, and it looks like one, but it's really just like this polyester kind of fabric. It does have like fun little fringes on the sides, and it is a very beautiful print. Hopefully you guys can get the gist of it. It's basically like a big flower um, kind of lotus, I guess, and it's the color is really nice. It's just, it's not a towel. It's it's just not, so there's that. Lastly is this necklace that, it's a choker I should say, and it looks like this. It's gold and it is small enough to actually fit me as a choker. It is adjustable and has a good amount of chain to work with there. Um, very simple, a very lightweight, and yeah, I really like it. So there's that one. Okay, that is it for this haul video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I did want to ask before I go if you guys would like to see like a what's in my mailbox haul video because normally I would put like my PR stuff um, included in my regular hauls. Or I guess I should say my fashion hauls. The PR what's in my mailbox stuff would be like the beauty products that I get sent. So let me know if you guys would like that. If you don't, that's totally cool. Just let me know. I would love to get some feedback on that just to kind of gauge if I should even do that or not. I do 
um, a lot of unboxings on Snapchat just because it's quick. It's You guys can see what I've been getting. Um, some people request what products they would like to see or which ones I've been enjoying, which ones work out, whatever. You guys know. So um, just let me know what you think about that and I will definitely take it all into consideration. Okay, so that's really it. Thank you guys so much. I will see you next time. Bye!